What if we had search engines that gave us the most diverse results rather than the most popular? What if opposites attract? Or even better, what if we looked at mutual indifference, the way we're mutually indifferent to something and use that as the basis for connection? My name is Wendy Chun, and I'm the Holtzbrink Fellow for this semester. My project this semester is called Discriminating Data, and it looks at the ways in which network algorithms uh, perpetuate discrimination. So my key question is, how does identity persist in the era of big data? How do categories of race, gender, class, etc., how do they proliferate through and as correlations or through proxies? Search engines put us into network neighborhoods based on our intense likes or dislikes, um, which assumes that neighborhoods should be segregated. You're put into, therefore, this grouping with people who have the same extreme likes and dislikes as you. Um, this is going to breed extremism. What's lost here is serendipity. What's lost here is if you're always put into a category based on your intense likes and dislikes or your predictable pastness is the idea that you could ever change.